Okay, we're getting started. I drew all these lines. If you're wondering how I draw them so straight freehand, I don't know. It just is when I'm in the zone. Now I made the perfect entry point, little poke hole. I'm using the spaghetti noodle dilator, delicate Asian fingers with my pinkies out to slowly and carefully make my way to the promised land. Dr. Asimov is in the background. He's the neural monitoring physician. And if I get too close to the nerves, he'll say, first spike, train, whatever, shot. Chromatodiscogram time, shot and save. That's a caca poo poo disc for sure, shot and save. You can see the outline of the annulator already. And you can see how degenerated this disc is. It should look like a hamburger with two buns and a patty. It looks like a snake. This is the absolute first look. I just put in the scope and immediately we see caca poo poo. That's the blue stuff. This is the trigger flex probe. It's a radio frequency electrical probe. It's an ablator and a coagulator and a feeler. It has lots of tactile feel. It's curved so you can get around corners. I feel the bone edge right there. The disc is right here. And I bet you when we go more inside, we're gonna find the empty tent sign where your annular tear is. Okay, now I'm using the laser right here. It's, it fires sideways. That red light is not the actual working laser. It's just the guiding laser. And believe it or not, it's non-electrical, this laser. It's mechanical energy, photon energy. I don't know exactly what that means, but it doesn't conduct through tissues and water like an electrical current does. So the only way it can hurt the nerve is that if I just put that laser right on there, and unless I'm not paying attention or I don't recognize that a nerve is there, it's impossible to do because that red aiming laser tells me exactly where the working laser is going to work. It's a YAG holmium laser if you want to look that up. You can see how effective this is. The only problem is it's very expensive. But it's worth it so I can say the word laser. Patiently making my way in to the canal without injuring nerves or blood vessels because you know what my mama always said. Find surgery to be so much easier without blood vessels and nerves. Okay, I'm making my way in. Here's the empty tent sign. Look at that. It should be firm like a hockey puck. But no, this is pathetic. And clearly there's a terrible leak here because look how blue it is. It should be totally white if it was intact. So I'm gonna make my way in there and I bet you I'm gonna find some trapped pieces of nucleus. I'll remove that. And by starting a new healing reaction, it should go down the correct healing pathway where the inflammatory process turns on and then turns off like it's supposed to instead of staying on chronically like you get in tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, plantar fasciitis, greater trochanteric bursitis, rotator cuff tendonitis. If you've had any of those conditions, you'll know how miserable it is and how long it lasts and how painful it is and how evil it is, even though on MRI you can't even tell. Okay, so that's the entry point to the canal. That's the pedicle. We call that Wagner's arch right here. It's the furthest away from the nerve and I can get in easily. And then when I try to go up here like this, it's stuck because normally the dural tube should have a padding of fat around it that has anti-adhesion properties. That way the dural tube can pulsate. And when you move your legs up and down, the nerve slides almost a centimeter. When it's stuck like that, it's very bothersome, sort of like having tape on your neck. And it's a secondary sign of inflammation. And there's a bulge right there. Okay, I'm in the defect. It is completely empty right there. Pathetic, but it's not you, it's your disc. No judgment getting all the loose pieces out. Look at that. That should not be there. Uh-uh, I'm sorry. That's the thing that perpetuates the caca poo poo. That's where the exiting nerve root is. Look away, look away. I'm gonna be very gentle and kind to anything that's not a disc. Look at this, it's wanting to just squirt out now. Regular two Terry now. Oh, yes. If that's good. I'm finding all kinds of badness. That tells me you're going to get better. Or I'll eat my hat. By the way, a hat is not something you put on your head. That term comes from. It is a disgusting meat pipe from the Middle Ages. So I think they said... I don't want to eat that disgusting meat pie, but if it's not true, I'll eat it, I think. That's what the internet said. 
Okay, I got all the bad stuff out. Now I'm going to just clean up the edges. Yep, that's because this is mechanical energy. When I was using the Trigger Flex probe, your leg was jumping a little bit when I got even near here. That tells me that the nerve is very sensitive. Yep. Your monitoring is really helpful. Otherwise, you'd have to be awake for this. Oh, yes, there's the annular tear right there. Just making my way up and in. It's really gratifying. It's like popping a pimple. If you're into that sort of thing. I feel so good. That's the annular tear right there. You can feel it as well as see it. So now I am using the radio frequency ablator to treat it. Thermal modulation, it's called. Name and terms, I'm zapping it. And you can see the nerves right there. Look away. It's not the actual raw nerve. It's surrounded by a blanket of fat and blood vessels because nerves generate electricity and that requires a lot of energy and all energy is delivered through your circulatory system. Okay, there it is. The surgery went absolutely perfectly. Offending agents removed, annular tear treated, everything all done, all gone. Now just for the healing process to occur. I'm expecting you to get a great result. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go on Paxil. Just doing some last minute cleanup just because I have OCD. Okay, we have Dr. Justin King, Chief of Staff, making sure to do a perfect job. And it's perfect, Justin. And I did it through this little poke hole. And Dr. King said, why do you need both the Dermabond and the Band-Aid? And I said, because that's what we always do. And look how cute the Band-Aid is. It's flesh toned. The surgery went perfectly. We're all praying for a great result. Right, guys? Yeah!